Okay, so here we see an example of captured lecture content as it is delivered through Tegrity. Uh, we have a window up here in the upper left hand corner where the uh, captured video is available. Um, the larger window displays what was being shown on the computer during the lecture. And in the lower left hand corner we have this bookmark section where we can click on a bookmark that was created by the instructor and that will jump us ahead to a certain point within the content and uh, just to show the idea that if you click on this maximize window here it will bring up the window you're looking at and you get a much better view a uh, much more detailed view of the um, of that content and if there is uh, audio being played over it it will continue to play while you're looking at it Next, I'd like to discuss the indexing and searching capabilities with Integrity. It's been explained to me that any content displayed during the lecture um, that has text in it, uh, if that text is on the screen for 20 seconds or more, it will get indexed by the application. So here we have an example where we had a screen, a web page up that had uh, these words research database as well as others. And I'm going to go ahead and type that in the search window up here, and I'm going to search on it, and it's going to come back and it's going to give me multiple uh, matching links and if I scroll over one of those links I get a little pop-up of a window that gives me a sense of what it is it sees that got indexed that way and then if I double click on it it's going to jump to that section. A couple other things to show you uh, here I clicked on the uh, the title of the section of Tegrity where our courses are and it shows me this particular course it's the only one we have one thing that's kind of nice if you do play a lecture uh, it will automatically store the last position you were in and give you this option to resume from right in that last position. If I had a long lecture here, there would be quite a few of these little boxes, which would be different chapters of the, uh, which is the term that Tegrity uses to break the course into sections to make it easier to, to uh, view and to find and to go through. And then lastly, if I click on this additional content tab here, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I will see any um, associated files or links that I've created. So I've created a couple links here that I can click on and it will bring up the web page and a file that I can download and it was real easy to add those to the uh, to the application. Alright, that about wraps up our uh, very quick uh, limited look at some of the functionality with Integrity. Uh, a couple other things I'll mention before I wrap up here. Again, a reminder that students can create their own bookmarks, which are private, in this little window down here, and they all get tagged with uh, as either uh, being just a comment, something very important, or something unclear that they might want to ask a question to the professor about. Down here we see uh, controls for playback, and we can also speed up the playback, which is pretty neat. Um, and then some controls that allow us to jump back to the chapters, print something, uh, export it. Uh, it's my understanding that instructors can burn DVDs of their captured lecture content um, and there's other ways uh, here a uh, student apparently can download I don't know if it's something that can be turned on or off so uh, a lot of other functionality available it's a very robust application and uh, so far I'm very impressed with it